Hello everyone, Steve Siebel back with mentaltoughnessblog.com. Central Florida, I'm here in front of the Calvin Coolidge Suite at the hotel we're staying. We're actually staying in the suite. And if you remember, Calvin Coolidge was the 30th president of the United States from roughly, I think, 1923 to 1929 when the whole country was in the Depression. So since he was trying to get out of his personal depression, he came here for a month right after he ended his presidency and stayed in this room. I'm not actually taking you inside the room because it's really not that impressive of a room. But here's my point. There's a portrait of him in the room and that they painted when he was here. And there's a portrait of him right outside in this hallway. And if you can see in both portraits, he's really not all that happy. As a matter of fact, if you have a, get closer to this, this painting. <laughs> can, can you see? <laughs> not really like a super happy guy. And I can tell you, he wasn't any happier with the portrait in the room. <laughs> it kind, of, kind of wears on you a little bit. It's a, big, it's a big painting in the room. He doesn't look really happy. Of course, he sent the country into the Great Depression, so maybe he was in his own Great Depression. I'm not really sure. Here's my point. Here's my point. Here's my question for you today. When you get what you want, which obviously Calvin Coolidge did, he became the most powerful man in the world for a six-year period, had problems at the end, obviously, of the presidency, but he did get what he wanted. And yet... Not too happy of a guy. Seems like a really serious guy. The painting in the bedroom's even worse. It's just he's sort of looking down like he's going to kill himself or jump off a bridge. So here's my question. When you get what you want out of life, which is what mental toughness is really all about at the end of the day, are you going to have a face like Calvin Coolidge or are you going to be happy? Here's why I asked the question. I think it's worth really pondering because a lot of people get what they want. And then they find out it didn't really make them happy. Years ago, we did a, I had a friend who did a study on Wall Street, interviewed the top 500 richest brokers on Wall Street, and asked them one question, are you happy? These people went from $10 million in net worth all the way up to billionaires. And out of 500 people that answered that question, are you happy, 12 said yes. 12 out of 500 said they were happy. These people were, had monopoly money, basically. So when you get what you want, are you going to be happy? And if you don't think so, maybe time to reevaluate what you really want out of life. I think our friend Calvin Coolidge might, <laughs> might have thought about this before he, uh, he became president. So something to think about. So I'm Steve Siebel from beautiful Central Florida and the Calvin Coolidge uh, uh, room. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.